Hey guys, it's Shalor here, uh, bringing you guys in today for a PS2 collection video. Um, uh, I felt like just recording like what I have currently in my collection, uh, and I'm going to tell you later like what stuff I'm picking up and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, I think I have about 80 games so far. I'm getting most of these games from Goodwill, and my dad actually found like a little bit, uh, 40, 30 of the games in a house he was cleaning out. So he gave them to me. Uh, so let's get started. First, I actually have two copies of Midnight Club Street Racing. One, I see, you see, I got a good old three bucks. I love Midnight Club. I love the series. Never actually played the first one yet. So I'm, I said I would pick it up. I picked this up with the original first, but then my dad found games. And there comes the second one now. And for some reason, it has a <laughs> Midnight Club 3 Xbox manual inside i mean i'll take that i mean that's not bad but this one has the og manual yeah okay next we got pac-man world 3 uh i've only played i think pac-man world 2 i believe back in the day when i was a kid i have i think i have all three of these now that came in that collection my dad got me uh yeah there's a chicken little and a messed up clip messed up case um, it's probably an okay game. Movie-based games are never that good. Uh, it's probably worth a shot. It looks like it's from Hollywood Video, actually. That's pretty funny. Uh, no wonder it's in a weird case. We got Fight Night Round 3 here. I'm pretty sure I got this at Goodwill for 3 bucks. It's definitely worthwhile. I mean, this game is probably decent. Uh, complete, you know. Fight Night games are pretty fun. It's worth a, it's worth a shot. I think it came in a, in a bundle for some other games. Okay, here you go. Here's some here's some good games right here. King of Hearts one here. I got a good well three bucks. Great deal. Complete. Looks beautiful. Fantastic. I'll tell you about Kingdom Hearts. Fantastic. Fantastic uh, RPG. I never played them personally. I watch people play them. I need to actually play these games fully. I'm probably going to play the PS3 versions 1.5 2.5 over the originals just because they have more content. Why would I play the originals? <laughs> They're just for a collection, really. And that leads into Kingdom Hearts 2 here. I know i got to remove the sticker, but 3 bucks also complete. So, yeah, can't go wrong with that. That's nice. 3 bucks. There's Fantasy Star Universe here. I don't even make sure if you played this game still. Oh, it says you can play single, single, single player. Okay. Might give it a shot. It's by Sonic Team for some reason, actually, which is interesting. Uh, it's complete as well. You know. Give it a shot. There's Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer. It looks like a Pirates game. <laughs> I never played it. I found it at Goodwill. Three bucks. Looks great. Complete. Give it a shot. I mean, a pirate game. It's probably pretty fun. There's a Scooby-Doo game. Scooby-Doo in a spooky swamp. It's probably okay. I mean, it's probably decent at best. I don't know anything about it. This came with that a lot. Maybe that got me. Here's Metal Von European Assault. This game is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I played it back in the day. I loved it. So when I saw like Goodwill 3 bucks, I had to pick it up. Complete. There's a, there's a nice game. God of War 1 here. Got this also, I'm pretty sure, at Goodwill for 3 bucks. Definitely. Well, I'll say every game I got at Goodwill, 3 bucks. That's all I'm going to say. God of War, not saying anything about this. Just worth picking for the collection. Fantastic game. Got to play it eventually. So we'll add it to the collection. It is complete, of course. Look at that manual. Nice. Okay. There's Virtual Fighter 4 here. I just had to pick it up because I kind of like fighting games in the Virtual Fighter series. I play, I think, two and three, so I might as well pick up four. Uh, give it a shot. Also complete, complete. Uh huh. There's Silent Scope. This game looks pretty sweet. It's kind of like a. Uh, what is it kind of like? It's kind of like a. Uh, your sniper, something from a helicopter. Kind of like an on rail shooter. It looks pretty interesting. Pick it up. NBA 2K10, I don't even have to explain this, it just came with a lot, I wouldn't even pay $3 for this. Only certain sports games I'd pay 3 bucks for, I mean, yeah. Yes. 
Here's a uh, Guitar Hero Van Halen. Van Halen. Okay, I mean, I might as well. I, I came with that a lot. I like Van Halen's decent. <laughs> um, <laughs> I played guitar a lot back in the day, so maybe I'll play it again once I find some guitars. Here's Sonic Mega Collection Plus. This is a great collection here. Um, comes with all the great games: Sonic One, Two, Three. Sonic 3 Blast, Sonic Knuckles, Sonic Spinball, you know, Dying Robotics, uh, Me Being Machine. Definitely worth playing, I would say so. You should also get Gems Collection. I know it's not for the PS2, though. You would have to get it for the GameCube. I think it's the only console released on. So you would need to get it for that. Great collection, though. Here's Battlefield 2. This is an OG game right here. Decent campaign, probably. It's worth the, worth the play. Can't play online, obviously, anymore. Um... Yeah, definitely a pretty good game. And someone wrote Dank in here. Dank Battlefield 2. I, I, this game might be very dank. Who knows? Here's a nice movie game. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Um, the game. This had to be a, a two, like a late PS2 release. You know, PS3 is already out. It's right in the back. 2000 and... Where's it at? Can't find it. Okay, I'm going to say 2007. I think when this movie came out. <laughs> yeah. Here's a very controversial game. Spyro Enter the Dragon. Enter the Dragonfly, sorry. I uh, picked this up at Goodwill. Through, uh, I think it's just 350 Complete. I mean, it was worth the pickup still. I mean, if it's not the best Spyro game, it's still worth the 350 I paid for it. Another interesting game I found. It's called Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits. It's definitely a PS2 exclusive. It's made by Sony Entertainment. Looks like kind of like a top down RPG. It might is it turn based? I'm not sure. It could be kind of play, could, it could be either play Final Fantasy or plays like Diablo. I can't tell from because I haven't played it yet. Looks looks like interesting. So I picked it up. Okay, there's uh, Jack Two here. Uh, there are great things about the Jack series. I haven't played them. I just bought Jack 1, actually, on eBay. I'm waiting for it to arrive. I'll put it in my pickup video, uh, probably at the end of this week, when I, I get all my eBay purchases here. <laughs> or next week, whatever. I'll group them all together. Um, yeah, it's a great game. Definitely worth the three bucks I paid. It's complete, I believe. Yeah, complete. Definitely worth it. Okay, here's the... Here's what most people say the best football game of all time is ESPN NFL 2K5. You got T.O. on the front here. Fantastic. Fly Eagles Fly. This game is fantastic. I watched gameplay of this. I played it. Fantastic game. They don't make football games like this no more. If you haven't played 2K5, I highly recommend it. This is a fantastic football game. It is cheap, too. You can pick it up. Here's Jack 3. Okay, yeah, Jack 3, complete. More of the same for Jack, platformer, action platformer, fantastic. Made by Naughty Dog, definitely worth the play if you haven't played it. There's Brothers in Arms Earned in Blood. I picked. I decided to pick this up because the Brothers, Brothers in Arms series is pretty sweet. It seems like whoever bought this back in 2008... <laughs> Spent five bucks on it, so yeah. And they bought World, bought World of War for the, Actually, no, they traded this in. I don't know, they paid 13 for this. Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, I decided to pick it up. The series is pretty good overall. A lot of games haven't played them yet, but worth a shot. Here's Silent Scope 2, the sequel of Silent Scope, of course. Uh, definitely worth getting. Try it out. More of the same Silent Scope, probably on rail shooter. There's Madden 06. This is a van this is a very good Madden as well. Not the 360 version. If you want to play Madden 06, you gotta get the last gen, the sixth gen version here. PS2, Xbox, GameCube. Because the 360 version is absolutely horrendous. Don't ever play that. Got McNabb, Fly Eagles Fly again. Had to pick it up. Devil May Cry 3. I believe I have two copies of this game, unfortunately, because I forgot I had it and bought it again. Uh, I never played Devil May Cry series yet. I have one through three. I gotta get to it eventually. Um, I might play the remasters instead. We'll see if I ever get them. If not, I'll just stick with the originals. Should be good enough.
There's King Kong the video game. <laughs> this came in that lot. My dad got me. Uh, it's probably a pretty shit game. I mean, yeah, Ubisoft. I can't think this is it would be a good game. It's probably worth a shot, but I might keep. I'm not getting my hopes up on this one. Can't, here comes Pinball Hall of Fame. You can't go around in pinball games. Pinball game. Pin, pin, pinball games are really... I love them. Love them. I played San Cagra Pinball, you know. I played... I would play Star Wars Pinball if I had it. And I played it on PC. Uh, Space Cadet Pinball. <laughs> Back in the day. So, this is a... I, I need to play this. Um, I love it. So, it's worth a shot. This is Gran Turismo 4. This is a fantastic racing game. This has to be the best Gran Turismo in my opinion. Played this game a lot when I was a kid. A lot. So good. So much fun. Which Gran Turismo would actually pick up the pace. They're slacking a little bit in their releases. They just need to catch Forza now. That's why I play Forza now. Like, more than the Gran Turismo. It's just so much better. Here's a weird game. Frogger to Great Quest. The case is in absolutely horrendous shape. It's probably a trash game too. I mean... It's probably all right. I mean, I can't think this is a good game at all. I'll give it a shot one day, maybe if I was, if I felt daring, if I wanted to put my life on the line. But I don't think I'll probably ever play this game. I was given to me, so <laughs> same with this one. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be playing NHL Face Off 2001 here. Uh, it's probably a decent game, but it's, it's NHL 2001. Like, come on. Here's Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. I, I might have two copies of this. As you know, I have, I have one copy on Xbox and I have one of this. This, this is a great collection. Comes with all the classics. Dig Dug, uh, uh, Pole Position, I think it's called, and uh, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, you know, fucking Galaxian Galaga. It's a great collection. Cool to have. I love playing Namco games. Play them a lot. Okay, this is a weird one. This is absolutely is given to me. Lucinda Green's Equestrian Challenge. I mean, it's a horse game. Like I, I would probably never play this game in my damn life. It, it looks girly. It looks kind of. It's probably ass. It's probably not worth my time. Probably should just throw it out the fucking window. You know what I mean? A game called Cold Winter. This game looks pretty interesting. It's by Sierra, Swordfish Studios. It's like a first-person shooter. Um. I don't know what this thing's about. It's probably all right. It's probably an average shooter. I can't. I can't see it being that good. I'll play it eventually. There's a great game. There's Pac-Man World Rally. I played this back in the day. It's a fantastic uh, racer. Actually, I kind of enjoyed it a lot when I was a kid. It's kind of underrated, I think. So if you, if you haven't played it, give it a shot. This is also given to me. This is a Shark Tale on PS2. I actually remember seeing my watch my friends play this game when I was a kid. It seemed kind of fun. Uh, I might give it a shot. I mean, I like the movie. It's it's all right. So you know, give it a shot one day. I mean, it's a kid's game. Oh, now this is there goes my daily video of my stack falling, <laughs> falling over. Here's Crazy Frog Arcade, arcade Racer. Now this is some early. This is some early 2000s cringe right here, because this guy was cringe. I remember how cringe this man was. Like, he's cringe. I don't, I don't, I don't even think I want to play a game with this cringy-ass motherfucker right here. Honestly. Honestly. Like, why would you do that? There's Pac-Man World 2. Um, I believe this is the one I actually played. It's pretty fun. It's kind of like you trying to... Bootleg Super Mario 64. That's what I would call it. Bootleg Mario 64. What Pac Man World does. Still pretty fun. I mean, it's worth a shot if you haven't played it. Here's a game. Here's Duel Masters. This is a failed card game. This is like a trying to be Yu Gi Oh! kind of shit. Didn't work out too well, I can tell you that. Because who remembers Duel Masters? Like, it's probably still a fun game. I mean,. It's worth, the, it's worth the shot. I'll try it out soon. Maybe I can make a video on that. And see where it failed. There's Cube Ball here. It's a billiards game for the PS2. I actually like I like pool games. I like pool, playing pool because my mom used to play pool. So she taught me how to play. It's a lot of fun. 
I don't know if I'd ra play this or rather play uh, the, the pool game on Xbox One, but we'll see. All right, here's a. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. The SOCOM One boxed. So this actually comes with a mic, which is funny. It comes with the game. I have it sealed here. It's sealed, still in the plastic. That's great. I found a Google for three bucks. And it comes with. I'll show you. Uh, it comes with a mic here. How do you get it out? Oh, here. here you go. Look at that. Look at that mic. Oh my god. It's a mic for PS2. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's try to use this on Xbox One. I want to see how that would go. <laughs> Audio quality is probably horrendous. Absolutely terrible. Okay, there you go. Let's go back up. It's good fine for like three bucks. I mean, box and leads into getting uh, SOCOM 2 here. Uh, I've only played SOCOM, I think, 4 on the PS3, I think it is. SOCOM 4. It's a pretty fun series, really tactical. You gotta like kind of be into that kind of stuff to play these games. So it's worth the shot. It's a cool series. Here's Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. My boy Angela said loves the Prince of Persia game, so I, I decided to pick it up. I never played any of them. Uh, I'll give it a try uh, eventually. Here's a cool game. Here's Final Fantasy VII uh, Dirge of Cerberus. I know this is going to be horrible, but I haven't played Final Fantasy VII. I eventually have to do that. I'm trying to finish nine eventually. So once I finish seven, I'll give this a shot. Cerberus. It says also says I need to play Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, so I might need to do that. As well in the back, it was definitely worth the, the three dollars. It's kind of a it's kind of a reverse game. It's worth the shot. Here's Devil May Cry two and Devil May Cry one, and here's my second copy of Devil May Cry three. So yeah, here's the whole series. I'll play them eventually. <laughs> here's a cool game, Animusha. Uh, it's kind of like a samurai game. It's pretty sweet. Uh, Angelo also told me this is a good game. I mean, I picked it up beforehand, and he told me it's not well worth the play. Uh, so I'll give it a shot. Here's a great series, Ace Combat. <laughs> Ace, Com Ace Combat 4. It's a flight sim game. Never played them. Uh, they look, look, the box art looks cool. The game looks sweet. I like flying jets and battlefield, so uh, worth the pickup. There's Final Fantasy X for the PS2. I will probably never play this version of the game because uh, I have the remasters on PS3 and I uh, have them on Vita. So, yeah, it's just for the collection. There's a Frogger game. I mean, how, how like, different can Frogger be, honestly? It's probably just some 3D Frogger. I, you know, it was given to me. Same with this game. The Getaway actually noticed is a decent game. It looks pretty sweet. It's like a weird, like, more realistic GTA. Uh, this is also given to me, like I said. Uh, I'll play it eventually, definitely, because it looks pretty good. There's another stack falling. That's great. Here's Tom Clancy Ghost Recon, the original one. The game of the year. Um, yeah. Uh, I never got into the Ghost Recon series. It looks cool, but the campaign is pretty fun. I'll play it eventually, like every other game in my collection. <laughs> I played this game back in the ATV Off Road Fury 3. Uh, AT, uh, ATV is a pretty sweet series. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, you should just fool around. And, like, I think they had like free parks you can drive around and do tricks. Pretty sweet. Here's a weird game NBA Ballers Fenom. This is probably a cringy ass game. I mean, I can't expect this thing to be good. It's by Midway, a company that exploded. I mean, it's in a blockbuster case. That's pretty baller. Uh, maybe I'll play it. Probably not. I'm not really into basketball games. The only basketball game I would play is NBA Street. Probably. There's a cool pickup. Or a cool part of my collection. Is that there's Madden 05 Collector's Edition. The uh, difference between the Collector's Edition and the original Madden is that it comes with like, extra modes. It comes with, uh, it says... It comes with three pass dishes to Madden Football, so I guess three different games. It comes with a 16-bit one, it says, and two PlayStation 1 ones. It comes with playoff teams, Madden moments, and stuff, yeah. 
that intro that trivia challenge. It's like you know, it's a special version of the game. It comes with more crap than the original. So, and it, Mad O Five is a great man. There's Maximo, uh, Ghost to Glory. This is a RPG made by Capcom. It looks cool, so I picked it up. NCAA 07, Castro Ball, enough said. Here is uh, another Sand and Time. I guess I have two of them. <laughs> There's Metal Gear 2 and 3. Definitely worth the pick up. Never played Metal Gear before either because I'm a slacker. I just need to get one somehow and then I can play them. Worth the pick. Your Soul Cal 3. Fighting game. Great. Because uh, I got four. I have four on PS3. So, I might as well pick up three. There's a game called Save Emergency by Rockstar. It looks like kind of like a gang warfare game. It looks kind of silly. Uh, I'll definitely play I mean, I love Rockstar's uh, games, so it's definitely worth the pick up. There's Ratchet and Clank 1. Uh, hold up. Let me try to get them all on the table. I think I have all of them. I think I'm here. Where's, the, where's number? Uh, where, there it is. Okay, Ratchet Clank 1, 2, 3, 4. Picked them all, all up the same day, but well, 3 bucks each, definitely worth it. Uh, I only played Ratchet 1, I, I believe, and the PSP 1, size matters, definitely worth the pick up. Finish them. Uh, here's Vice City in a weird uh, case here, and a weird uh, whatever. I think it's because it's part of the collector's edition or a collector set. It's a work pickup. Nice city. Love it. There's a game uh, Angelo gave me. Godfather the game. It seems pretty cool. Godfather Sweet. Mafia. Awesome. Here's a great game. Sly Cooper 1. Sly Cooper 1 is a great game. I just need to get. To, I, just, I just bought three on eBay. I'll show it to you when I get when it arrives in the pickup video. Uh, definitely worth the pickup. Nice uh, stealth uh, platformer by Sony Entertainment. Here's Pro Skater 3. It's my favorite Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. Um, it's a lot of fun. I love uh, skating in the free room and the free park or whatever it's called. Free a uh, free skate. Uh, I never beat it. I need to because I was a kid. I didn't care about beating games. I just played them for fun, really. Here's True Crime New York City. True crime, True crime New York City is a pretty sweet game. That's all gameplay of it. it. Looks like a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of like a plays a cop and you have to uh, <clears throat> control the streets. Kind of like a weird version of GTA. A little bit, little, had a little more depth actually. I think so. Worth the, worth the pick up. Mm -hmm. Okay, Need for Speed Carbon here. Love Need for Speed Carbon. Definitely worth the pick up. Great game. It was right. It was before Need for Speed became shittier. Uh, I just need to get. I think I just need to get Most Wanted now and the Run, the Run and Pro Street. I believe to complete my for the collection of Need for Speed. I actually want to play. So yeah, we split the metal black. I remember wanting this game as a kid. My mom never bought it. Bought it for me. So here it is now. Uh, I never played this just metal. I only played like set as Small Brawl and 3 on the PS1. I think it's 3 on the PS1. Might have been 2. Uh, yeah, so it was worth the pickup. Try it out. Uh, they, they really need to make a new Twisted Metal game. It's getting retarded now. I mean, like, it's been years since we a new one has come out. It's crazy. Here's a core cool RPG. Star Ocean Till the End of Time. I heard the Star Ocean series. It's, I heard the great things about it. Worth the pickup for 3 bucks at Goodwill. Come to both this, you know, manual. I'll play it eventually. Same thing goes for this. This is a great find. A good well, three bucks. I think this game's worth like 30. Tales of Leg Legend Legendia. Legendia. Great Tales of series been out, been out. It's been out for a long time. Still going. There are great things about it. I'll play it eventually. Two games left. And these two my one of some of my favorites. Here's Thug 2. This is my favorite Tony Hawk game by far. I've been playing it right now. I'm trying to 100% it. Love this game so much. So much fun. Great levels. Great story. It's funny. Worth definitely worth the play. And finally, 
a fantastic game, of course. GTA San Andreas. What I have to tell you about this game, it's one of the best GTAs ever made. Map's great. Story's great. So much fun. I played this so much when I was a kid. So much. Definitely worth the pickup. And yeah, that's my collection so far. Um, I'm getting some more games in the mail from eBay soon. I'll show it to you uh, in a week, week or two, probably in a pickup video. Those other games for, for other consoles are, that are also coming. I'll show them. Uh, keep an eye out on some Yu-Gi-Oh uh, openings coming up soon. I ordered a 2013 uh, Mega Ten, not Mega Ten. It's just a regular Ten uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Ten. Uh, that's gonna be fun to open. Also bought some mystery product, mystery pack products from Walmart, and that should be coming in pretty soon. So I'll make a video and upload it when they arrive. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. Like always, please like and subscribe if you want to keep up with me when I create new uh, content and have a nice day.